Hey everyone, it's Anya with the Season of Anya and welcome back to my channel where we discuss yoga, magic, and witchcraft and a sprinkle of a healing journey along the way. With that said, I guess it's time to start talking about the healing journey. So with that said, how can yoga, magic, and witchcraft assist in healing? I never thought it could. I was just here to do the cool stuff and be a baddie. What I found out though is especially through working with a coven and being able to go to a safe space, go to a place where you won't be judged, go to what's become my home away from home, my chosen family, being able to go to that environment to heal, to be empowered, to uplift, to make magic, create magic, to connect with spirit, to connect with our ancestors. Everything that it encompasses was the best experience I've ever had. And I wouldn't be here without it. Being able to step into a coven and see others and work with others who are already working with magic, who are already connecting with divinity in itself was life-changing for me. I didn't know what any of this really meant. These were only things I read in books prior to actually getting to work with a coven. Um, through time, I was able to break out of my shell. Sometimes I can present Oftentimes I present as a very bubbly person, but what I have learned very recently is that it was a mask. There was nothing authentic about who I was. I knew how to play the part, but that's all I knew how to do. I didn't know how to be authentic. I didn't really know how to build relationships. I've had some drama in my family for many, many years. And stepping into that family community dynamic was so surreal. Through my five year journey of learning how to be, in my five-year journey of receiving empowerment, I've, I learned and have learned and will continue to learn how to empower myself because an empowered self is, is empowered people empower people. And what I realized through showing up for myself through going to those moons, through forcing myself when I didn't want to, to connect and be there and be present and knowing that it was fine to be exactly who I was, knowing it was fine to have emotions and not always be the bubble, bubble, happy, happy girl that I really truly wasn't inside. It was just such a breath of fresh air. I didn't have to fake who I was. Working with the moon cycles, the full moon and the new moon and the dark moon. Working with those different energies allowed me to step into my darkness instead of just hiding it. It's okay to feel your pain. It's okay. In fact, it's not just okay. We need to feel our pain. We are humans. We have emotions and something for me clicked where the more I was able to feel and authentically represent myself, the more whole I became. Through this 
season working with a coven, I was able to make some serious life changes. I was able, I didn't even know what boundaries were before working with a coven because I wasn't empowered. And through time, I've completely changed my life around. I was that shy girl, always kind of lurking in the corners, not really ever feeling a part of the group, never really feeling a part of it, but I was met with so much love and just so much acceptance that I never found before in my life. I never truly felt it. Our group, The Witch's Cottage, it was a transformational experience. And that's why I want to bring in the healing aspects of witchcraft to this channel. So much can be accomplished in our lives by showing up for ourselves. And that's what this journey taught me. Through working with a healthy coven, I learned how to spot red flags in people. I learned how to spot the red flags in myself. I learned about toxic dynamics. And I learned how to step out of toxic dynamics. And through that, through learning witchcraft, changing that narrative, changing what I thought was the only way for me to live, severely depressed, showing up for others through validation, I was able to change all that. Now, when I show up for others, it's not because I want their approval, I want their validation. It's because I choose to. I'm in charge of my own life. I don't need to fall into any dynamic I don't wanna be a part of. And sometimes that's hard. I've had to cut and shift and navigate the way I show up for many relationships. But through showing up for myself, through being part of the community and slowly starting to then lead, be a leader in my community, in my own special way, however that looks like, I was able to turn my life around. So, I have so much more to say about boundary setting, toxic relationships, showing up for yourself, but I just wanted to start throwing in that sprinkle. I gotta do it. That little sprinkle. And just to start sharing my journey. It's a long one. It's one that's taken me many years to even realize I was on one. But I'm so happy. I'm so happy I did. So with that, we'll end it for now. If you like this kind of content, please comment and let me know. Thank you so much for subscribing and I'll catch you on the next one. So, so much love and gratitude to you all on this journey.